Hey guys, this is Chris with Dr. CyberLogic and my video today is going to be on tube cutting and tube bending. So here I have a kit. This kit is completely optional, but it comes with everything you need to bend the PETG tubing. If you're doing acrylic, I don't recommend buying this kit. What you do need to buy for both is going to be the rubber insert tube. This is silicone tubing that goes inside of the tube, so when you do the bending, it keeps the shape and doesn't collapse on itself. The kit also comes with these optional angles to help you bend to the proper angle. So you have a 90, 180, 135, and a 360 angle to bend the tube. And then it also comes with this piece to shave off the edges and make them smooth that way when you insert into the fittings it doesn't damage the o-rings another one that's not optional if you're doing petg is a pipe cutter you can get this at home depot lowell's or any of those home stores um, this one only used with petg as i alluded to in my last video if you're going to be doing acrylic you're going to need a hacksaw so i also have the tubing this one is PETG, and then this one is the acrylic. You see how that one doesn't bend at all? Now let's get started. All right, so when you buy the heat gun, I bought this one on Amazon for $30. Make sure you get a heat gun that has a flat back because you're going to want to stand this up. There are some heat guns out there that you can't stand up properly, which you would not be able to do this with. So let's start with with bending the acrylic. So, what you need to do, put the silicone tube inside, and this, like I said, this is gonna help bend the shape. When you do this, set the heat gun to low. You don't need too much heat, because then you get issues with the bend, with bubbles in it, and you do not want bubbles. Let's go. Now you can control the heat by getting closer or further away. What you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you heat up evenly. So keep rotating. And then you'll start to, once it gets hot enough, you'll start to see it bend a little bit. Now, one thing with hard tubing, it does take patience. So make sure you're patient and you're doing it evenly. Now keep in mind, when you do the bend, it is stretching it out. So the part that, on the outside of the angle, you're going to want to get that bend like heated up more because that has to stretch the most. So let me show you when it starts bending. Now since the acrylic is more similar to glass, it's going to take a higher melting point to start bending it than the plastic. So if you're doing acrylic, it's going to take a lot more patience than doing the PETG tubing. You see it starting to bend there? It's starting to bend under its own weight. I didn't even try bending it yet. And where the center, the top of the Make sure you do a wider range on the top because it does have to stretch. And here we go. Like I said, be very patient and bend it evenly. If you feel like it's getting too hot or you're getting bubbles in there, take it further away. But if you are getting bubbles, I recommend taking another piece because that does weaken the structure. You see this? Remember, if you bend it too soon, it's going to crease here if, you, if it's not hot enough. If it's too hot, you're going to get bubbles. So make sure it's just right and just let it basically bend on its own with little help for, with a little help from you. Don't put too much stress into it because if you do that, 
you, like I said, you're gonna get the creases or it's gonna stretch out here and it's not gonna look good. And that part where I'm heating up right now has to get the most heat because I'm the most widest angle, the widest area because you're gonna stretch that whole thing right there. And then there you go. There's a proper 90 degree angle. Now if you wanted to use these, you can make sure you're getting a 90 degree by bending it across there. And then that way you know you have a perfect 90 degree. And be very careful with the heat gun. I did burn myself a few times, not right now, but earlier. So just be very careful with that heat gun. And then there you go. And then you can just pull this part out. And then that is how you bend acrylic. Now, if you want to cut it, like I showed you in the last video, you do have to use this to cut it down to size. It's not as easy and precise as using the pipe tube, but if you try using this, like I showed you in the last video, it just cracks. You see that? So you cannot use this. You have to use the hacksaw. All right, now let's start with the bending of the PETG. Now with this one, it should start bending at a lower temperature. So I'm going to be using this tube for my, and so I'm gonna have that there. So I'm gonna bend it around here. So let's start with this. See how fast that starts to bend? So with this one, you're gonna have to take it away. Can't be as hot. So bring it further up with the PETG compared to the uh, acrylic. This is bending very quickly. And if you wanna use, like I said, if you wanna use this, go ahead. And you can just bend it around. And that was much easier. This is why I recommend using PETG for beginners. It is much easier than using the acrylic and it's much quicker. And then we're going to loosen up on that and then there you go. I did, it does look, actually that looks very good, I like it. All right, then you just pull it out. And there's a proper bend. So now, when cutting, when cutting this one, it gets much easier. So I'm gonna cut off the end here because I have too much on the end. So just turn here. And watch how easy this is. See that, then tighten, turn, just like I showed you in the other video, turn. And then there you go. That is how you cut and bend tubing, whether it's acrylic or PETG. All right, and like I said, if you're a beginner, I do recommend using the PETG tubing. All right, if you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be releasing many more. I'm getting suggestions from my subscribers, which I really appreciate, and I will be doing a video on the wiring as well per one of my subscribers' requests. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching.